Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am continuing with my low spin December, and that is where I'm just trying to use what I have on hand this month. So from my freezer, I grabbed this Trader Joe's meat lasagna. We really like it a lot. It is very good. It tastes a lot better than Stouffer's. Um, but I will say that this lasagna will probably feed maybe two to three people. If you have more than that in your family, one is not going to be enough for you all. But again, we really like it. I prepared it in the oven and serving it with a um, garden herb salad. As you can see, I got it on clearance. I just wanted to give it a try. And it has a vinaigrette dressing in it. Um, it has shredded provolone, garlic croutons, and a garden herb dressing. So here is the salad on the plate and here is the lasagna and just serving it with a breadstick. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so Howard and I are trying out a new Asian restaurant for dinner. And so this is just our um, hot and sour soup and it's a large hot and sour soup. As you can see, there's a big soup bowl here and then here is my portion, and here is Howard's portion. And when our entrees come, I will be back. Okay, so our entrees just came out, and I got the Szechuan chicken, and that is cabbage in there. And then Howard got the Hunan beef. The Hunan beef. The Hunan beef, and as you can see, there's bunches, uh, there's lots of veggies in there. And then with his entree, he wanted the steamed rice right here. And with my entree, I wanted the fried rice. And the only thing that we are waiting on are the dumplings. And our dumplings just came out. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this boneless pork shoulder that I had in my freezer. Um, and I got it from Target over the summer. So it was $8.99. I got it for $4.50. Um, it's seasoned and marinated, and you're actually supposed to cook it in this bag that it's in. Now, I don't feel comfortable doing that, so I'm going to take it out of the bag and put it in my little mini roaster here, and I'm gonna cover and cook it for 90 minutes, just like the instructions on the package um, say. So I will be back. Okay, so here is the pork shoulder and it smelled really good while it was cooking and it tastes really good too. It is a little salty though, but it has a really good flavor. Now, um, you're supposed to shred it and serve it on a bun, but we're just eating it um, like this along with some Jamaican rice and peas. I do have a video on our channel showing how I make my rice and peas. And then we're just having some Caesar salad on the side from Aldi. I talk about this salad kit all the time. We really like it a lot, their Caesar salad kit. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast enchiladas and I did record a video on how I make um, these enchiladas and that video will be out on Thursday. These are so easy to make and they are perfect for any meal of the day. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this holiday tree pizza that I picked up from Aldi during a recent Aldi haul. I'll link it in the description box, but it is in the shape of a Christmas tree. And so here it is, and it has um, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, red and green bell peppers, and a pesto cream sauce. Haven't cut it yet, of course, because I wanted you all to see what it looked like whole. So I'm going to cut it and then we'll taste it and let you guys know what we think. Okay, so I tasted a bite of the pizza and it's just okay, kind of bland, but you know, it's, it's not bad. Would I buy it again? Probably not, um, but it's just okay. And I will say you probably couldn't tell 
from the video, but this pizza is pretty small. I mean, it's probably about the size of a Totino's pizza, so you're definitely not gonna be able to feed a family off of that pizza. You're definitely gonna need some size or something with it, but this is all we've got tonight. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.